Hi, uh, I'm John D. Houston. Um, I'm a Métis performer who tonight is privileged to appear on the traditional lands of the Mississauga of the Credit, the uh, Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabeg, and the Wendat, and is home now to, of course, people from all over the world, as well as many people from other First Nations, Métis and Inuit. The um, show you're seeing tonight, as you probably know from your programs, is Civilized, written by Kirk Cutler, directed by Paul Hopkins. It deals with what even a hundred years ago was being called a national crime, the treatment of Aboriginal peoples in what is now Canada. And specifically, this is the about the Indian residential schools. This play uh, describes uh, physical, psychological, and sexual abuse, uh, as well as perhaps most malevolent of all, denial. There's also racism and xenophobia and a brief scene of torture. This might be difficult, impossible for some people to watch. If, on behalf of all of us involved with the show, please practice self-care first. Um, that said, again, on behalf of everyone involved with this production, we all feel that this play deals with a topic which must be addressed as we attempt to move towards reconciliation or putting it right. With our residential schools, young natives would finally leave the retarding and retrogressive influence of their birth parents, children who might have wallowed in empty-headed, uncivilized paganism, would be educated and introduced to Christ. To Indians would finally be given purpose, meaning, work. Our residential schools prepared young Indian girls to become maids, housekeepers, servants, and young Indian boys to be a ready supply of labor for our ranches, farms, mines, and mills, all essential tasks for any nation, particularly a new and developing one, tasks not beyond the capabilities of this limited race. And, given our budgetary issues and the financial crisis of the day, all this was done at a fraction of the cost of educating white children. Government at its very best. In the glory of the bright summer night, in the light of the shadow of the forest glade, I am waiting here to kiss your lips so red. This was the chief medical officer stating our schools were dangerous to health with children dying, and the deputy superintendent, in essence confirming the report by placing the fault with the children. For the first and only time in my professional career, I questioned my superior's judgment. I I am your own, your high, I walk the brave, my heart is yours, you know. Inevitably, misfits and bottom feeders found employment, leading to young girls, even young boys, being, 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 by the staff. Dear one, I love you so. But to resort to the hideous technique of pushing a sewing needle through the repeat offender's tongue. I, 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 I found this technique, a, a sewing needle through the tongue, distressing. Needles through tongues, I mean. The image is horrific. My Indian bride. Oh, right, here we go. We did this. We created this. We did this for you. Polite Canadians call what happened to the natives in Canada a cultural genocide. We can drop the word cultural. What happened was genocide. It took many forms, and the Indian residential schools were as pernicious as any of them. But more than anything else, we were civilized. <laughs>